Hi, my name is Samuel Nyavo, and today I'm going to be showing you how to deploy an Action Cable app on Heroku. Action Cable is um, a WebSocket implementation inside R Rails, and it comes with Rails 5. So um, this time you don't have to install gens in order to use WebSocket in your Rails apps. It comes with Rails 5. Um, so if you have already built an Action Cable app, um, and you want to deploy it on Heroku for the world to see. I'm going to be showing you how you can do that. By the end of this tutorial, you should have something like this that runs on a Heroku subdomain. Um, so right now, I'm thinking you've already built your Action Cable app. Um, if you don't, don't worry. I have a sample app over here that we are going to be using to try out this tutorial. Um, it's a chat app. That I built using Action Cable, and we are going to be cloning this repository to be um, for the pure build branch to be precise. Um, we'll clone it and we'll try to push it on Heroku so that we know how well we can do that. To get to this page, go to github.com slash origin master slash cable chat. Um, the, the pure build branch is over there you can clone the repository and then head over to your terminal inside your terminal run the command git clone and then we paste our url and then a flag for branch which is pure build and then single branch Work. Um, we are going to be cloning into the chat demo directory yes so this should take a moment and if you cd into a chat demo directory you realize the pure build branch is um, active so you can change the branch name to master by get branch hyphen m and master yes so we are going to be pushing master on Heroku because Heroku saves the master branch to make sure this master branch is working properly let's run it on local server so before I run it I'm going to be running the schema um, I'm going to migrate all the files before um, I save it. To run the migration, I'm going to use the command bin rails um, db schema um, load. As you'd notice, I'm using the rails command, rails with an s, and because right now with rails 5, all the rig commands is supposed to work with rails 2, so as DHH said in his video on action cable. So if I should hit enter, uh, migration will actually be run and as you see, migration has been run. So um, if I should bin rails serve, it should serve on my local host at port 3000. So let's head to local host 3000 and see what is happening there. Local host okay local horses here 3000 takes a moment yes and yeah let's try to enter this chat room in let's see peter um the name should be rails rails five Yeah, as you can see, there's a connected flag over here, or, yeah, let's call it a flag to show that we are connected. So any message we post in this thread should be sent through. Yeah. To push the app on Heroku first, um, before I finish, let me stop this server um, to see. Okay. We have to create the Heroku app with the command um, Heroku create yes so 
so yeah, this takes a moment so create an app with a name nameless castle 2012 nice name <laughs> so yeah so we if we do hero cool git push hero cool master the app should get saved on hero cool nice so hero cool building it takes a moment for it to finish building as you can see our app has finished deploying and it's on the nameless castle 2012 url so let's go over there to test it and if we should go to nameless castle 2012.heroku.com heroku app rather um oh our app is not running so let's go check our logs to see what is happening if we should run the hero cool log command we might be able to know what exactly is going on oh and we are getting all this column errors because we haven't run migration so let's run migration so hero cool run to run any command on this particular app um what's the command bin rails um db schema load so takes a bit to a bit of time yes yeah, so migrations have been done and if we should head over to the web page and reload this page ah nice so it works let's try to enter and see john uh, john with a small o and then chat room is um, hero cool if we should enter the room you realize there's no flag over here to tell us we are connected and if we um, it actually comes to tell us we are disconnected. If we should come to enter this command, it's not going. So let's head over to the server to know what is. Let's the log server logs to know exactly what is happening. So you run Heroku logs again. Takes a moment. As you can see, the request origin for the web circuits. URL have been denied it's not allowed so we'd have to go and enable that inside our app so we'll have to open our app with sublime go to config environmental variables production here yeah so I think we head off to yeah line 42 43 those are the two lines we have to uncomment and then fill with variables so if we go into our browser and then inspect element we are going to see the url we need to add inside the console that is um this so i'm going to take the name <coughs> without the wss part for the web socket and then put it over here yeah and then for this part i'm going to put the url of the app over here as you know heroku comes with https so we add that and then we add um the nameless castle 2012 heroku app here inside the URL yeah so um, we get on to our terminal we add it production yes 
we commit it better commit message not necessarily this one try to write a better one than this so we push it push Roku master and then it will take a moment to save up so nice it's finished deploying um, let's go and check out our page inside the browser we have to come over here we reload um, see what is happening nothing in the console mm -hmm. okay let's go and check our logs and see what is wrong run Heroku logs so action cable uses redis and redis is its main in the memory data store um, as you can see it can it hasn't connected because we haven't done any redis connection i think with Heroku is that if you want to use their redis add-ons you'd have to have um, a verified credit card account and you can't get any of it just out of the box without verifying your account with a credit card but thank god the other solutions head to redis labs um, redislabs.com here is the home page they will allow you to have a free database without verification and you can use that with your action cable app as you can see i've already signed up i've created my account um, if I want to create a new Redis subscription, I just have to click on this new Redis subscri subscription button um, on the home page. And because I've already created one free Redis database, I'm not allowed to create anymore as it is. You can only create one free account per subscription and the rest of it you have to pay for. So nice, we've created ours. Let's go and see how we can use it um, action cable so if you head into your reddit dashboard you should see something like this the two main things we are going to need is the endpoints and then the redis password so to start with let's copy the endpoint yes as it is and then head over into our sublime to add it so we get to um, redis over here cable yeah so the um, production url is what we are going to have to change and the url is supposed to come over here so we paste we delete the last bits of this url that was already available and then we'd have to append our password um, as it is our password is action cable so we copy that and then paste over here with a colon then I'm at yeah so that is our redis url done so this is how it is redis colon double slash colon your password um, at the redis url that was generated for you blah 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 redis.com colon along with the port number all of this information is provided on your redis dashboard so yeah so we just have to push this to heroku by git adding config redis cable and then git committing uh, supplied Redis URL. Then we get push Heroku master. <coughs> yeah. So as it is, this I'm going to take a while. And then, as you see, we are done. So, yeah. So we head over to our page. Um, this is Action Cable Nameless Castle. We reload. to see if we, if we will get a connection 
Hmm, says connected to cable over here. And if I should post a message, anybody should get it if they head over here to this Heroku um, channel or room. So that is about it. Um, thank you for watching.